Okay, we're gonna move on a little bit to talking about determining eligibility. So as I mentioned before, most of our institutional aid, and when I talk about institutional aid, I'm talking about grant aid, which does not have to be repaid. Um, and we base most of that on demonstrated financial need. So we look at your cost of attendance. So the cost of attendance for an academic year, and we'll talk a little bit more about specifically what that's made up of. But our cost of attendance for this year is $49,140. And I subtracted out, I made up a random EFC of 12,500. EFC stands for your estimated family contribution. And that's what you're gonna get off of uh, your FAFSA information. So you put all your information on and then it spits out this number that says your AFC is, in this case, $12,500. So we subtract that from your cost of attendance and that, that tells us what your estimated need is. Um, and need is sort of a, a tricky question because your need could be high but it doesn't necessarily mean that we have the funds to meet everyone's cost of attendance. And something that we think is really important here at HDS is we really view your education as a partnership. It's a partnership between the financial aid office here and you. We're gonna work to help get you some grants. We're gonna help work with you to figure out your loan eligibility, um, look at private scholarships. We'll help you with filling out any forms, but we also expect you to participate in this um, because you are the primary beneficiary of your own education. Uh, and so we don't want you to expect that you're going to have to come up with everything on your own, but you are going to have to look for outside scholarships in many cases, talk about what your um, loan eligibility might be, um, and certainly um, making sure that you're on time for deadlines because that will put you in the best possible position. So our need-based grades, uh, need-based grades, sorry, need-based grants for those who demonstrate eligibility can range from half tuition to full tuition. So we have three tiers of need-based grants. We offer half tuition, so that's half of the full-time tuition. We offer three-quarters tuition, so 75%, um, and we offer full tuition. For students that receive the merit-based components, those grants would include a full tuition grant and a modest stipend to help with living expenses. Stipends range generally in the eight to $10,000 range. Um, and like I said, a smaller pool of students, about 20% of the incoming class will be offered those um, merit-based awards. Um, you know, when we talk about merit, the issue here is that the large majority of students could qualify for the merit-based. We just don't have enough funding to go around for everyone. So we really don't want you to focus on the fact that if you get a need-based scholarship, instead of a merit, that somehow that means that you're not wanted here, that you're not an excellent candidate, that you're not a great student. It doesn't mean that at all. Um, here, it's, it's not really a question of who can qualify because most students are really well academically prepared. Um, it's just a limitation of funding. So um, certainly don't feel like there's somehow something wrong with you or we don't want you here. We certainly want you here. If you've been admitted to this program, then we obviously feel that you're a good viable candidate that can bring a lot to our campus. Um, so keep that in mind because I know it's hard um, when sometimes you see the numbers and it's not necessarily what you were hoping for. Um, but again, we do have funding available um, and, and we think that compared to a lot of other schools, we definitely have generous packages. Um, and as I mentioned before, I think I probably mentioned this three or four times already, um, don't just count on the merit-based, make sure that you're applying for the need-based as well. 